Hi, I'm Miri and I want to show you how easy it is to use Canva to edit any of the templates from my shop, Miri Campbell. The first thing you need to do is sign up for a free Canva account. You can do that here with Google, Facebook or with an email. When you first log into Canva, you'll arrive at the Canva dashboard. This is where you can organise all of your creative work. At the top here we have the profile, you can add a picture, it has all your account settings, you can get help and then there are different ways to create a design. You can click on this button here and choose any of these templates. You can also put in a custom design choosing the size here or you can do a search in the search bar for the design you'd like to make. Alternatively you can choose from one of the templates here. And again over here, custom dimensions, you can add your dimensions and start a new design here. This is the section of the dashboard where all of your designs will show up and you can also access that here on the left hand side. Next we have templates. Canva have a lot of templates that you can use. Photos, you can pick and choose the photos you want. Some are free and some you need to pay for. Then I'd like to show you the brand kit. This is a really useful tool. With the free version of Canva, you can choose three colors and put them into your brand kit. And then whenever you're working in Canva, these colors will always be available to you. Here on the menu bar is the folder section. This is where you can organize your work. And then down here in the corner is the Canva help section. Canva has a whole host of tutorials and videos and information that will really help you to make incredible designs. Okay, so let's open the template. When you click on the link to the template, you'll come to this screen and all you need to do is click use template and then you're ready to start. So this is the file menu and here, if you're interested in making a printed document, you can show the margins and the bleed by clicking here. This is also where you would come to save any work, although Canva does save automatically as you're working. And you can also make a copy. So click on make a copy and in a new window, Canva will open a copy of your document. Okay, just close that for now and go back to the original. Here is where you can type in a name for your design. This share button allows you to share your design with others. You can type in their email address or you can come down here and copy a link which you can share with others. Next we have downloads. So here you can choose the type of file you want to download and also the pages. At the bottom of your page is the page manager and in the page manager you can add new pages, delete pages, copy pages or move pages around. And to exit the page manager just click on this cross. Next, I'd like to show you how to use photos. So Canva have many photos that you can choose from. A lot of the photos are free, but there are photos that you'll either need a Canva Pro account for, or you can buy them. You can also type in the type of photo you're searching for up here in the search bar. So I want to find a picture of a desk, and I'm going to use this one here. All I need to do is drag it across, drop it into place, and then I can adjust the position of the photo by double clicking and then just moving it around. And also by dragging these handles, I can change the size of the photo. Canva also has some nice filters and effects that you can use for your photo and you can access them up here. In this adjust menu, you can change the way your photo looks. You can crop it here. And if you wanted to turn it round, you can flip it horizontal or vertical. You might like to add your own photos, so if you want to do that, go to the Upload section, click Upload an image or video, and then navigate to where you've saved yours. I've downloaded these images from unsplash.com, and then in the same way, drag your photo across, double click it, and you can adjust its size and position, and with it still selected, you can choose a filter too. Lovely. Next, I'd like to show you how to change the text on the templates. So click on the text and then you'll see all the fonts that are available to you here. You can change the size of the font. You can change the color of the font by clicking here. Something that's really useful when you're editing a large template like this 
is this option at the bottom here. Canva is asking you if you want to change all of that color into that new color. And so if you click this tick, it will change all of the text that is that color into your new color, which really helps if you've got an 85 page template and you want to change all the colors of the text. Then you can make your text bold, italics, you can underline it. Here you can justify your text. You can make it into capitals or lowercase. You can add bullet points or numbers. And in this section, you can change the letter spacing and the line height. Now, one tool that's really useful is this copy style paint roller tool. So let me show you how it works. If you have some text selected, click on the copy styles icon and then click on another piece of text it will copy across all of the styles of that original piece of text, which is really useful when you're editing a whole design template. Here is the transparency tool, so you can use this to change the opacity of a word or an object. The next tool I want to show you is the position tool. So this is really useful if you have some text or objects that you want to align and then space out evenly. First of all, select all of the text, then click on position, then you can align the text and then here under space evenly I want the text to be spaced out vertically. If you need to move a block of text around then you can group it so with everything selected right click select group and then that will group everything together and then to release right click and click on group. The lock tool is another useful tool click on some text and then click the lock and now this text is locked and won't move you can select everything around it and move it around and it won't be affected. This is a really useful thing to use when you're editing. And then to unlock, just click the lock again. Under the Elements tab, Canva has lots of shapes that you can use in your work. All you need to do is click on a shape, drag it across, and then you can change the size of the shape by dragging the handles. Now, this shape is in front, so I want to send it back. So we go to Position, and then just click to the position that you want the shape to be. I'll delete it for now. I have this rectangle here and I want to change the color to my brand lilac color. All I need to do is click on the shape, select the colored square up here on the top bar and that will open the palette. Select your color from the palette. And at this point, Canva will ask you down here at the bottom if you want to change all of this beige color into the lilac. So if you're editing a whole template, this is a really useful tool. Simply check this box and Canva will turn all the beige into lilac. Perfect. Right, I'm just gonna undo that so it goes back to its original color. And then we can move on to adding links. So to add a link, all you need to do is click on the text that you want to add the link to, or you can add it to an object or a picture. And then up here, click the link icon, type the URL of the link, and that's done. So when you've edited your template and you're happy with how it looks, you're ready to publish. Click on the publish button and Canva will give you all the ways to publish your work. This is the download button where you can choose to download your work as a PNG or a PDF. And I recommend that you download a PDF print for all of these templates. And here choose the pages that you'd like to download. And that's it. I hope I've given you a taste of how easy Canva is to use. So good luck with your templates. I'm looking forward to seeing what you create.